Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to speak to you tonight. How does it feel to be here and be part of this amazing group of people being honoured um, from the British film and TV in in uh, industry? It feels great. I feel a bit like I'm cheating because I've only made one series of a TV show, but it's an enormous honour. And I just absolutely love all of your work. Um, you. I don't know whether it's being uh, a British millennial woman. Obviously, lots of, for me to relate to, um, but I, I don't think I'm the only one. What do you think it is about your writing and, and the things that you've worked on that really capture people's imaginations? I think it's always reassuring to know that someone has messed up more than you have. Um, and that is a noble cause that I do in my storytelling. Um, I don't know, I think it's like probably not a great idea to dwell too much on what it is that people are connecting with with your work and just kind of get on with it. Um, but I just feel unbelievably grateful that people are connecting with it. And what is that process like, taking something that, you know, words on a page and having to bring it to life on screen? And especially something that you've written yourself, you know, you've got images in your own mind of who all those people are and then you've got to find actors and actresses to fit that. So, so is that a challenge or is it just a lot of fun? It's so fun. It's, you know, when you're writing on a page, it's very much within your control, which is satisfying and good, particularly if you're a control freak. But when you're making something visual, it's like the sky's the limit of how creative you can be. Like the first day that I had on set, I was in a flashback scene for my main character's childhood bedroom, and I was like doing doodles about Will Young, saying I love Will Young and glitter gel pen to be stuck on her mirror. Like, you can't do that when you're writing a book. And, and, you know, what are you going to be working on next? What can people look out for from you next? I've got a hand in a whole entire novel in a month's time. So uh, this is the last time that you will see me wearing tips, tape and makeup. And for the next month, I will be wearing pyjamas uh, with my head either in a mug of tea or my keyboard. Just very quickly, do you, I feel like now is a great time for female-led stories, people telling stories behind the camera, in front of the camera. Do you feel like it's a great time? We've still got a way to go to have more representation. It's always been a good time for female stories. Um, and yes, we've got a long way to go for representation. It's not just about female stories, it's about female minority stories and untold female stories. There's a huge amount of work to do. Fantastic. Lovely to chat to you. Really enjoy the night. Thank you.